Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Doge. Yeah, Doge is currently on the move today. Um, someone asked me earlier today on, on X on Twitter, why why is Doge going so crazy? And I mean, there's n there is no other ma reason I can give other than market sentiment, shifts in market sentiment, which we measure with our Elliott Wave method. Um, there was a clear setup for it. The message was very clear in the last few days that the downside structure was technically complete. I could count all the waves we needed to count complete, even on the smallest time frames. Whenever that's the case, it means we have to be on high alert for a reversal. Um, anybody who used the box to find an entry would be nicely in profit. That's essentially what these boxes are for. On the Doge, car uh, or Doge card, the Doge chart, we also had here a very nice support zone, which already got triggered back in January. And uh, anybody who entered here is even more in profit. And then the price dipped obviously several times into this, what I consider a wave four support zone. And we're now moving up in wave five. So it's just market sentiment at play here. Elliott waves at, at their best really. Um, the market broke or the price broke above all our signal levels to indicate that the next move up is unfolding. Now, at the moment, there is no sign of exhaustion at all and we broke above the resistances. I think now it would be it would be important for the market to, well, I actually showed you all of that in yesterday's video, right? How we could do a retest here, but there were not many retests. There was a bit of a retest here, maybe from uh, the, the lowest, let's say the lowest breakout point here. That was the previous swing high. It didn't even give us a nice inverse head and shoulders that would have been like textbook. It just broke. And there hasn't been any um, retest and that's a little bit problematic, okay? Not necessarily a disaster, but the rallies without solid retests of previous breakout points or resistances, it's just not really Elliott Wave stuff, but obviously, you know, you lack the, the structure that can then also act as support. Basically what in an ideal world happens is when we get a, a move out, of a range, you know, like a breakout and we retest. Okay, you could say maybe there was a retest here, but then this just broke and yeah, it would be nice now to at least here get a bit of consolidation after breaking out above this green line, which is defined at 16.4 cents. And then also here we have that descending trend line. Maybe we can retest it and then carry on to the upside, yeah? This would be ideal. I mean, there isn't much in terms of structure we can identify here, just very, very shallow pullbacks. But it looks impulsive. I mean, the idea is that the move to the upside here is now this wave five and the targets I gave you were around 26 cents plus for this wave five to the upside. Um, you know, the, the idea is that um, this would be a five wave move as this has also been a five wave move. Yeah, And the idea would be that this here would be, for example, wave one or five, then there could be a wave two. If we, as soon as we get the first deeper pullback, we have the next setup for pullback traders. And then we could go like that. Yeah, A deep pullback might never come. Okay. And so it's more about, okay, you know, acting, acting when there is a pullback, acting when there is a pullback. I mean, there was plenty of time to act in this support zone. Okay. So yeah. And important would now be to not come down and break below all these levels again. The importance is now to hold ideally even above that descending trend line here. I mean, that would show strength, especially after a breakout of that descending broadening wedge pattern. Okay, if we break down and break back into the range or into that descending broadening wedge pattern, then the next support should be found where that previous breakout point was. And that's around 15.2 cents. So that would be the next support level. But overall, next upside targets should be clear to so 26 cents from an Elliott Wave point of view. And typically, what is generally sort of sad is that um, after a breakout of a wedge pattern, the first target, if there is a successful breakout, is typically the beginning of the wedge. And I'd say that's up here around 22 cents, 23 cents. So I'd consider that a possible target as well. And then there are resistances along the way that obviously need to break, especially here around 20.5 cents, the third wave high and the B wave high. And I wanted to take a look at the long term as well. So looking here, obviously, at the Doge chart, Doge is one of the, the coins that has actually performed quite well cycle over cycle. Not many coins can do that. The bear market low was considered a fourth wave. And ideally, we're now moving up in a fifth wave, 
which would be um, yeah, a five wave move, but probably as an ending diagonal. So we're dealing with, because this was a three wave move, wave one, wave two. Um, wave three could still be unfolding. Then we get a four and a five, okay? That's sort of the count I've basically shown you on the smaller time frame. And it's just that this is a bit messy here. Um, I consider that an A, B, C structure. Okay, and we're now in this C wave to the upside of the third wave. So the third should still extend a bit higher. Looking at Fibonacci extensions, when we talk about the bigger picture here, I think the third already did what it needed to do. Um, just about, just about. I mean, it would be best if this third would extend a bit higher, possibly to 27 cents even. Now, there we go with this 26 cent plus level on, on the smaller time frame chart. Um, so larger degree, larger time frame resistances, and you see they are being respected because the price already reached here, the 1.236 extension at 23 cents on the, here in, early in April it was, or end of March actually. And the next upside levels are 27 cents and then even 36. Then at some point we should get a fourth wave pullback. And that fifth wave, we'll need to see where it takes us to really get up there around $1.30 plus. The third needs to extend quite a bit, okay? So we'll see how that structure comes together. It is only a diagonal, it's not impulsive. So it will be difficult and there will be lots of ups and downs along the way. That's my update about Doge. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.